Hey everyone, John with the Active Towns channel here. I am in Steamboat Springs, Colorado today. Uh, just kind of uh, catching up with some friends and checking out the amazing river trail here. I just absolutely love this. This is so much fun. Let's swing this around, let you take a look. I just also want to show some little details here in terms of bikeability connectivity to the trail network here. Got a little bit of a shared space situation here. Again, typically chairs are not the way to go, but these are extremely low speed streets. You'll see it's 15 miles per hour. So it really is a 30 kilometer per hour, even less, street, about 28 kilometer per hour street. Nice little park, plenty of bike parking, and connectivity to the trail. Ride your bike to the park, relax, read a book, a little stream action here. Kids having a blast there. Surf in the water. You saw those girls warming up on the uh, the warm pavement, uh, trying to get warm after uh, being in the ice cold snow melt. The Yamper River here. See all the kids having a blast on the inner tubes here. On the rocks.
It actually is a really warm day here today in Steamboat. I think it's in the mid 80s. It'll likely cool off rather quickly here once the sun goes down in a couple hours. How much fun would it be to grow up as a kid here? Play in the river. Off in the distance here, you might be able to see the ski hill, the jumping hill. We'll get a better look at it in just a moment. Tap Brewery. Mountain Tap Brewery. I was over there just a little while ago meeting up with Rich and Wendy. Nice location by the river. And then there's the uh, ski jumping hill. So if you want to become a ski jumper in the United States, you're going to most likely come here to learn how and practice. And again, you can see the pathway connectivity to the ballparks, the rest of the park, the ski hill, Halson Hill here. Again, they have programs for the kids, development programs for the serious competitive ski jumpers. And see off in the distance here, we've got some volleyball folks, sand volleyball. We'll try to swing over there and check that out. Pickleball action here. And the rodeo grounds. You've got it all here. In the distance you can see the main hill, the Steamboat Springs Ski Resort.
Yeah, it looks like over here we've got the ice arena. And back over to the other side of the river. little picnic area there and I might get another view of that here from the bridge pop over to that uh, park area I just want to really hone in on the fact that so many people access the park via bike and for their picnicking activities and that's exactly what we see here. And you can see the relative access of the pathway down to the river, down to the parks and the main drag of the main street and heading into the quote unquote downtown historic area of Steamboat Springs. We'll swing back around just because the wind hitting the microphone a little bit too heavy. You may have noticed the 15 mile per hour sign for the trail as well. So it's intended to be a relatively slow speed environment. This is not a place where the racing, recreational and sport cyclists are encouraged to come and try to do high speed workouts. I'm sure they do when it's uh, not particularly crowded, but this truly is a multi-use path. Another good example of where, if possible, if you have the ability to create a little unpaved natural surface right to the side, runners really appreciate that, and some hikers as well. It takes a little bit of pressure off of the multi-use path. I know I've said that multiple times, but it's worth repeating. You get a lot more bang for your buck for the right of way of the trail. And just like this, this is what I mean by the natural surface treatment. And here you go. That's exactly what we end up with. A de facto sort of goat trail created by the desire line. Again, 
the runners would really in most circumstances prefer to be over on that natural surface I know I would I'm a trail runner In addition to following the river, you may notice that we're also following the train track lines, so the rail right of way as well. And you can see off to the left, we've got a car cleaning business, car wash, and then that's Highway 40, so that's the main U.S. Highway 40 over there. Just want to take a quick look and see where this particular part of the pathway goes. Looks like this actually is the main route. And again, you can see the natural surface portion of the trail off to the right. And we've got some kids and adults over here at the park and some soccer, football for the rest of the world. I will be over there later this evening watching a friend doing a, a scrimmage. Thank you. You may notice just how lush and green it is right now. Colorado has received an inordinate amount of rain and a pretty good snowpack this year. So it's a very, very lush July, which can sometimes be rare. Oftentimes, by the time July rolls around, we're starting to see everything browning being quite dry going into August and September it looks like things will be quite green for uh, for some time now again you'll see on the left here more of the soccer slash football pitches I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to find my friend Alia later on this evening, but I'm sure it won't be too hard. One of the things that I absolutely love about this particular trail is it does connect to all these parks and recreation fields and there are access points all along this route connecting to all of the residential neighborhoods here and so you do see quite a few kids riding this you know during the school year it's not the school year now it's in july but you do see quite a few kids accessing their school grounds heading home and 
you know, this time of year, they're going to their summer activities and programs and camps, as well as heading out with the family. You can see some fun trailside orientation. The residences, most of the houses here have little gates so they can have private, personal, easy access to the trail as well as decorations with the, the bikes that we saw there. Again, the comfort, the convenience of having a trailside orientation. If you if you wish, a TOD, a trail oriented development, or as I like to say, the other TOD. And got some fly fishermen out doing some angling. And yeah, the trail goes by a lumber yard, some light industrial stuff. I put the, put the camera way up there. You can see the ski hill again. And yeah, you can see some wayfinding here. There are a series of ponds along here as well that, for fishing. Great activities for the kids. It looks like there are uh, also swimming holes too. I just want to show this so you can kind of see this access point. You can see the main highway there. We won't go there now, but I just want to show you this. This is Fetcher Park. And you see some nice little comfort amenities bench there, looking out over the river. Really is one of my favorite little multi-use paths up here in the mountains.
One thing I don't, don't really know about this network is in its current state is whether it has been expanded and if they have some extensions of the network up into the neighborhoods. It'll be interesting to uh, explore a little bit of that over the next couple days. And no sooner did I say that than looks like this is a new segment. I'll take that later. And then over here to the right, you can see one of the old bridges over the river. I can remember riding my road bike on that little rural road over the river. And again, off to the left, that main road there is the highway. Supposedly it's supposed to be a good summer. The state highway. Yeah, or even a US highway. I think it's US Highway 40. And again, since we're not right next to it, it's not overly noisy. Very comfortable rolling past here. You can hear a little bit of those big SUVs and trucks, but not too bad. It's really quite pleasant. And the gentleman just got done with his swim looks like he was a runner maybe he just took a dip to cool off after a long run or at least a hot run And I do believe this is a little art installation here. I believe that is sort of paying homage to some of the local agriculture structures. I think I saw some on the drive up here from Dillon there in Summit County. And again, some reminder signs to maintain your speed. As you can tell, it's not super busy on a Thursday evening. It's about 6.15 maybe 6.20 in the evening. Not super crowded. It will be on the weekend for sure. And it's also much busier during the traditional rush hours as there are some community neighborhoods down this way. So folks riding into work and home 
Now we'll get to be back right next to Highway 40. Again, access to River Creek Park. And it looks like we have an underpass, just about a block over this way. And we might as well take the underpass here, see what this is like, and the access to the neighborhoods over here, and businesses. And right on cue, somebody heading home after the work day. And access points into the residential neighborhoods there. Many of these neighbors don't seem to be really taking advantage of the access to the trail although that uh, house had a nice little back lanai and back porch there but uh, many of them are just fences kind of walling themselves off from the trail which is a little unfortunate i know i'd want to have a little bit more egress And another little pond. What you'll notice is missing is lighting. For the trail to really encourage and take advantage of using the trail as a mobility route but I'm sure people use it with their own lighting on their bikes but again it's it's a nice little have although it might be disruptive for the closest of these houses but note how they do have gates to the trail, so that's nice to see. And here we go. The end. Our trail connector. Huh, and it looks like we have a pickleball court stenciled out here on the street. And yeah, why not? Streets are for people. Very cool. Okay, let's um, head back to the main trail. I don't think it continues that much further 
a long Highway 40, but we'll give it a try. Check it out. Again, I really love the way these residents have situated their back porches in Hawaii. We call it a lanai, looking out over the trail and the little pond. quite peaceful and at the same time being able to connect with your neighbors being able to have those chance encounters and meetings and say hello I think that's important These guys have a nice porch view of the trail as well. And you can see trail access to commercial district there. We'll head back over to the main river trail, see how much further it goes. Looks like we've got some development going on here to the right. I don't know how much of the uh, highway noise you could hear back there, but this should be a good test to see how much quieter it gets as we turn away from it.
feels like there's just the slightest amount of breeze in my face. So the mic might be picking up on that. But uh, when we get up here to the turnaround, we'll just let you take in the silence. Kids having some fun. And that's all she wrote. So this is the end of the trail. They have not been able to develop it beyond this point. I can hear just a little bit of the hum of Highway 40 in the distance. Take this little natural surface trail a little bit, see where it goes. Some folks are rocking out there a little bit. Not sure if you could hear that music or not.
you know, we're starting to get a little closer to the highway. Start to hear that sound building again. Definitely not a particularly busy evening. Very relaxed out here on the trail, which is fine. All right, let's go get a shot of these gals floating down the river on a stand-up. <laughs> Good time to cool off. You'll note uh, the one gal there that stayed up has a uh, cooler strapped to the back of hers. So they were having a nice afternoon, early evening out on the water. Nice way to spend a warm, sunny summer afternoon and early evening.
And we see trail parking facility, bathrooms, and water fountain, drinking fountain. Again, all important activity assets for trails and pathways. Don't forget the comfort facilities. There you go, a little horsey. And you can see it's getting significantly darker as the sun's dropping down behind the hill there. The temperature's noticeably dropped as well. Still quite comfortable. You may have noticed some of the signs for the fishermen that this is a catch and release area. So when they're fly fishing out there, they, they catch any trout that are not to keep them as long as the fish is in good condition and can survive. You return the fish gently to the water. Here's those bikes again. Very nice. And I can hear the sounds of the ball fields. So we're getting close to our destination for this evening's activity. And you see some baseball being played here. And the sun's poking back through again. And here we are, the main entrance to the ball fields. My destination for the evening. And I think this is the right location. I'll double check that in a moment. Well, I hope you enjoyed the ride. This is uh, Steamboat Springs, the river trail area. <laughs> Great deal of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.